welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be talking about measures of training trial tendency. I'll be dealing with grouped data. Let's take a look at this question. The following scores were obtained using the Likert type scale in measuring student attitude towards geography. Now, the scores are actually highlighted on the board. The question now is draw a frequency table using a class interval of five and determine the mean, media, and mode. Now, the first thing is to actually um, draw your class in server out, put out the frequency, midpoints, and all that. So, how do we um, arrive at this class in server here? The class width, as we are aware, here is 5. Now, how do we arrive at this? You look at these values given, the scores given. Your class in server must be from the lowest, which will accommodate the lowest value in this place. Now, let's take a look at what is the lowest value in this place. It's actually 14, and the highest is 30. So your class interval must range for a value that must accommodate this lowest and must also accommodate this highest. Now, so since the lowest is actually 14, we'll start from a value either 14 or below 14. Now, another rule that you must note is this. The class interval in this case, or the class width, is 5. Now, the lower class limit must be a multiple of 5, or the lower class limit must be a multiple of 5. So, first, we must choose a place where, it, where this smallest value will be accommodated, then accommodated. Then the second, uh, second fact is that it must be a multiple of the class uh, width or class interval. All right? So, what is the smallest? Since we know that the class interval is 5 or class uh, size is 5, if we multiply uh, double 5 is 10, then the next double is, uh, is actually, if we triple it, is 15. So 15 is bigger than this, so we'll use 10. Now, 10 to 14 is a class interval of 5. How do I know that? Now, if you want to get your class size in this case, remove 0 0.5 from this and add the 0 0.5 to this. So here will now be 9.5. Here will be 14.5. Now, subtract 9.5 from 14.5. You have your answer. You can do the same for all. That's, the, that's how we actually get the class size. So in this case, we choose from 10 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, and 30 to 34. Note that all the lower class limits are actually multiple of 5. So this uh, satisfies some conditions that are essential in checking your work. All right. Now, the next thing is to count the value. We count the value that is between 10 and 14 and put the frequency there. All right. So, let's count. In this place, if you take a look at this place, you realize that there is no value. Now, here is 114 and here is another 14. And that is all. So, we realize that between 10 and 14, we have two values that are within this range. All right, the next one is from 15 to 19. So let's count the values that are actually from 15 to 19. So we'll start here. This is 1, 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, the next is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 and 17 so that's how we got the 17 here so you repeat the same you count the value between 20 and 24 and you get 12 you count the value between 25 and 29 you get 7 and you count the value between 30 and 34 you get 3 so after that you add you look for the sum of the frequency so if you sum the frequency you have 41 then the next is to look for the midpoint which is x how do we get the midpoint it's simple Add these two together, the class interval, both the upper and the lower class uh, interval, add them together, then divide it by 2. So if you add these two together, you have 24, divide by 2 is 12. If you add these two together, you, uh, you, is, you get 34, you divide by 2, you have 17. So you do the same for the others. Now after that, what is the next? You look for the f of x. f of x is use f to multiply x. So use 2 to multiply 12, you have 24. Use 17 to multiply 17, you have 289. Use 12 to multiply 22, you have this. So you repeat that. Remember the rule that I gave for class boundary. How do we have our class boundary? You subtract 0 0.5 from the lower limit, 
and you add it to the upper side. So if you subtract 0 0.5 from 10, you have 9.5. And if you add it to this, you have 14.5. If you subtract 0 0.5 from 15, you have 14.5. If you add to here, you have 19.5. Note that this and this, you realize that they are always the same. The upper and the beginning of the other, they are, the values are always the same. Look at the upper side upper uh, limit of this and look at the upper boundary of this and look at the lower boundary of this they are the same so but just note those facts then after that what will you do you look for the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency now here we have two here you put the two there the next one you have two plus 17 you put 19 there now here we now have 19 and 19 plus 12 31 31 plus 7, 38, and 38 plus 3 is actually 41. So you, once you get this table, it's as good as you have solved the question. So let's now calculate for our mean. Remember the formula for calculating for me. We have summation fx all over summation f. Now, remember our summation fx is, remember our summation fx as you add all these places together, you have 8, 6, 2. So that's what we have here. This is to that. Remember the sum of the frequency is 41. And that's how we have 41 here. So if you use 41 to divide this, you have 21. All right. So please take note of that. We have 21. Approximately 21. Now, when dealing with calculations, sometimes even when you have written that, you have to cross check your work okay now the next thing is the media how do we calculate for the media it's simple use the formula l plus n all over 2 minus cb uh, uh, cfb all over f med then times c note the l is actually the lower class boundary of the media class all right now lower class boundary of the media class how do I know the media class? We have a, what is the total number of value we have? We have 41 numbers in this question. So how do I know the media class? Now, if you have 41 numbers, the middle number is actually the 21st number. Remember, you have 20, you have 20. Now, we have one here, which is the 21st what, number. So let's now check the frequency table. Here we have 19. So the 21st number will be in this place. Remember, we have here we have 2. Then plus the 17 that we have here is 19. So the 21st number will be in this place. So this is actually the media class. Take note of that. This is the media class. Now, how do we get the, the lower class boundary? This is the media class. And this is the lower class boundary of the media class. This is the upper class boundary. But in this formula, we are interested in the lower class boundary, which is 19.5. Now, after that, the next thing here is what the total frequency n is the number of value or the total frequency. So, total frequency as we are aware is actually 41. Now, the CSB is actually the cumulative frequency before the media class. Cumulative frequency before the media class. All right, so please take note of that. CSB is cumulative frequency before the media class. Now, remember, this is the media class, right? So, the cumulative frequency before the media class is actually 19. So note that why we have the frequency of the, this is media, frequency of the media class. Where's the frequency of the media class? You can see it here. It's actually 12. Okay. And the last um, C is the C, which is the class width or class size. We know that that is actually 5. So we'll apply that to the formula. As, as I mentioned earlier, the lower frequency of the media class is actually 19.5. So we'll put it here. L is 19.5. Here, the total number of value or total frequency is 41, 41 all over 2 according to the formula. Then minus now, this is the cumulative frequency before the media class, which we have here as 19, 19 all over 12. Remember, 12 is the frequency of the media class. Remember, this is the media class, right? So the frequency here is what 12. Okay, now once you have done that, you can now calculate as usual. Use this two to divide this. You have 20.5 minus 19 all over 12. Every other thing remain the same. All right. If, if you remove 19 from this, you have 1.5 all over 12. Now, 
Remember this, there's addition here, there's addition here. In the formula, there's addition here. Okay. So 19.5, if you use it to divide it, you have 0 0.125. Now, I'll have to multiply this with 5. All right. 19.5 plus. Now, if I use 5 to multiply the 0 0.125 times 5, so we have our answer as 0 0.625. If you add this, if you add 19.5 to that plus 19.5, our final answer is 20.125. So this is our media word value. Now let's calculate for the mode. Mode is equal to L plus formula is the on the board. Now let's just quickly take a look at the parameters. L is the lower class boundary of the modal class. You knew, you knew how I explained the lower class boundary of the, uh, of the media class, but in this case of the modal class. Now, mode is actually the number that um, occurs highest or that most frequently occur. So let's take a look at the frequency. The one that I have the highest frequency is actually the mode. So here is have frequency of two, here 17, 12, seven. So 17 is definitely the modal class. So the lower class boundary in this place is 14.5. So why this is the frequency of the modal class. This is frequency before the modal class. Frequency of the modal class, frequency before, then frequency of the modal class, frequency after the modal class. Now, the frequency before the modal class is this two. After the modal class is 12, all right? So please take note of that. Why C we know is the class width. So let's actually calculate. L is what the lower class boundary, which we already discussed as 14.5. This is the modal class. And you can see here, it's actually 17. This is the modal class. So the lower class boundary is 14.5, right? That's what we have here. Then the frequency of the modal class is 17. We know that already. The frequency before the modal class is 2. 17 minus 2 all over is the same thing that is up that is here. So we just put 17 minus 2 plus. Now, this is the frequency of the modal class minus frequency after the modal class. After the modal class is 12. You can see it here. All right. Then all over times the class what size or class width. So if you move to from this, you have 15 there. If you move to from this, you have 15 also. You move 12 from this, you have 5. So now I have 14.5 plus bracket 15 all over 12 plus uh, 15 plus 5 times 5. If you add, you have 15 all over 20. And if you divide, you have 0 0.75. Now, note that we now have 14.5 plus 0 0.75 times 5. Now, board mass. Board mass, multiplication comes before addition. So, we have to multiply this. 0 0.75 times 5. And we have 3.75. Then add it to 14. Point five. You now have this as your final answer. So it's a very simple mathematics. If you have any question, you can always ask on the comment section or send us a mail that is being displayed on your screen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thanks.